Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, today we are going to discuss money as a convenient unit of account, which is very important for maths. Already we discussed the functions of money. And the functions of money, the second function after medium of exchange, we will discuss the measure of value. So here measure of value, that means all goods and services will be measured in terms of money. And because of this reason, money acts as a convenient unit of accounting. To understand this, let us discuss Money acts as a convenient unit of account as the value of all goods and services is measured in terms of money. Whatever goods and services you are going to buy in the market, the value of those goods and services will be expressed in terms of money. For example, when you buy a pen, the price or the value of pen is expressed in terms of money like 10 rupees or 20 rupees like that. Here you can see value of each goods and services is expressed as its price. And when it is expressed in terms of money or in terms of price, it serves as a unit of account. Because here we are using money as a common unit to measure all goods and services. To measure all goods and services. Because of that reason, it becomes very easy for us to maintain accounts. So this makes possible to maintain the business accounts. For example, if you consider rice is measured in terms of kgs. Uh, oil is measured in terms of liter. The cloth is measured in terms of meters. So there is a various uh, units which we use to measure. When the value of those items is expressed in the common unit like money, then it is a very easy or convenient for us to maintain the accounts. So here the value of goods and services expressed in terms of price dear students here you can see the value of wristwatch is rupees 500 it's mean that with a 500 rupees or 500 unit of money you can buy or exchange with a wristwatch here the unit of money is rupees by expressing the value of all goods and services in the single unit that is price. In single unit, we are expressing all the goods and services value. So because of that reason, it has become very easy for us to find out the exchange ratio between them or relative prices between those two goods. Here I told the wrist watch is rupees 500 means when you give 500 rupees you can buy this wrist watch. The value of this product is expressed in terms of rupees or in terms of money. Any goods and services if you consider the value of those goods will be expressed in terms of rupees. When the common or single unit is used, then easily you can find out a relative price. Here you can see how we can find out means here we have taken the price of pencil is 2 rupees and the price of pen is 10 rupees. Now how will you find out the relative price of pen with respect to pencil? What is the price of pen? 10 and pencil? 2. 10 divided by 2 means 5. For one pen, you need to give 5 pencil. This is the exchange ratio between pen and pencil as 
the pen value is expressed in terms of rupees that is 10 or here the price of pencil is also expressed in terms of rupee that is 2. If the value of one pencil is 2 rupees and the value of one pen is 10 rupees then to exchange between without using money if you are trying to exchange between pen and pencil then definitely you have to give five pencil to have one pen so this is what we call it as the relative price or exchange ratio between pen and pencil as value of goods and services are expressed in terms of money here we can calculate even exchange value of money too with respect to other commodities take example of price of pencil if the price of pencil is two rupees for one rupee how much pencil you are going to get half of the pencil the 50 percent of pencil you are going to get see here the value of one rupee is equal to one divided by two equals to 0 0.5 pencil that means half of the pencil you are going to get in similar manner if the price of pen is 10 rupees then the value of rupee in terms of pen is 1 divided by 10 which is equal to 0 0.1 pen here you can see dear students when the value of all commodities or the price of all the commodities increases prices of goods and services increases then the value of money is going to decrease that means the purchasing power we can say purchasing power of money power of money is going to decrease with the available money or with a unit of money as price increases you are able to buy less of any commodity for example if a product is 10 rupees and you have uh, 100 rupees then how many a product you can buy 10 a products you can buy but suddenly if the price of this product price of a product increases now with the same unit of money you are able to buy five units of a product that means the purchasing power of this money in terms of commodity is going to decrease previously it is able to buy 10 units of a product when the price of a product was 10 rupees when it increases from 10 rupees to 20 rupees the ability of this 100 rupees to buy a product decreases from 10 units to 5 units this we call it as deterioration of purchasing power of money